Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to the last lesson on reflections. Uh, now we're going to reflect a point in the line y equals 10 theta x. So what is the line y equals 10 theta x? Well basically it is just a straight line um, where the angle between the line and the x-axis is theta. Right, so uh, for example, um, right now theta is 45 degrees and it's just the same thing as y equals x because tan 45 is equal to 1, so it's just y equal 1x. And then if I change this angle, um, it'll change the angle of the line and you can see here that A is our original point and A dash is the image. So it doesn't matter how I change the line, we can still reflect it using the line and reflect the point A to give us the image of A, which is A dash. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we do is we need to construct the transformation matrix. Now, as you guys know, when you construct the transformation matrix, in the first column, you put in the image of the point 0, 1 after the transformation and in the second column you put in the image of the point 1, 0 after the transformation. Okay, so how, what do we do? Um, how do we figure out what the image is going to be? Well, if you have a look at my um, line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the line to about 30 degrees. Okay, um, the angle between the line and the x-axis is 30 degrees. I'm going to move point A to 1, 0. So I'm going to make the axis a bit bigger. And you can see here that if I move point A to 1, 0, I have the coordinates for A dash over here. So what's happening is if you draw a straight line from point A to the image, and then from the image we draw a straight line to the origin, basically we have just constructed two similar triangles. So this is our first triangle and this line is similar to this line this line is similar to this line and this line is the same for both triangles. So um, if this angle here is 90 degrees for both triangles and this angle is 30 degrees for this triangle therefore this angle must also be 30 degrees. Now if I draw if I want to know the coordinates of this point with respect to the two angles we have here, um, what happens is I can draw a straight line downwards from this point to the horizontal axis, to the x-axis, to construct a right angle triangle over here. And therefore, since the hypotenuse of this, law, of this triangle is equal to 1, because this side is the same as this side, which has a length of 1, so the x coordinate of this point is just going to be cos 60 and the y coordinate of this point is just going to be sine 60. Now 60 is 2 times 30 because originally our line is only 30 degrees to the horizontal and now it's 2 times that. So in other words if I was going to simplify that and put it in my um, reflection matrix. I will put in cos 60, uh, sorry, cos bracket 2 times theta and sine bracket 2 times theta because theta is the angle between my line of reflection and the horizontal axis, which is 30 right here. So this is the first column. Now similarly I'm going to do 
one where the original point is at one zero on my GeoGebra diagram. So you can see here that my original point is located at a equals zero one, and if I draw a vertical, uh, if I draw a straight line to the image, again I have created two similar triangles. So this side is the same as this side, this side is the same as this side, and these two sides, this side is the same for both triangles. And I have chosen an angle theta equals 20 just so I can draw this diagram a bit easier. Okay, now if you have a look at A dash, our goal is to find out the coordinates of A dash. Now if this angle here is 20 degrees, um, this angle, well, let me just use a different color because it's about to get a little more confusing. This angle here is going to be 90 degrees minus 20, which is 70. Now, since this angle is identical to this angle due to the rules of um, similarity or congruence or whatever you call it, this angle is the same as this angle. So this angle here, the blue angle is 70 degrees. Now minus the 20 that we already have, this angle that is remaining, okay, down the bottom below the x-axis, okay, if I draw another triangle here, oops, just let me draw this properly. If I draw another triangle here, the blue, the purple angle is going to be 70 minus 20, which is 50 degrees. Okay, so it, this comes from the fact that the blue angle is 70 degrees minus the 20 degrees, we have 50 degrees. So where does 50 come from? 50 comes from 90 minus 2 times theta. Theta is the original angle of 20 degrees. Okay, the, uh, the angle below the line of reflection. 90 minus 2 theta is 90 minus 2 times 20, which is uh, 50. Okay, so putting that in our um, reflection matrix, if we want the coordinates of this point, and the angle here is 50 degrees, we will have an x coordinate of cos 50 and a y coordinate of negative sine 50, right? Because this side is opposite the angle theta, uh, sorry, the purple angle. So putting this information in our um, reflection matrix, I will put cos bracket, now where does 50 come from again? 50 comes from 90 minus um, 2 theta, so 90 minus 2 theta, and um, we have negative sign 90 minus 2 theta. Okay, so that is our reflection matrix, which you're then going to use to multiply um, an original point to get to the image. So writing that out clearer for you guys. Now, if you have learned about the complementary angles in trigonometry, basically um, cos 90 cos bracket 90 minus 2 theta is the same as sine 2 theta and then negative sine 90 minus 2 theta is the same as negative cos 2 theta. Right, so if you don't know why that is, why this is equal to this, then look up 
um, complementary angles in trigonometry. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.